Folks, in here, San Diego, getting out of here. Beautiful harbor right here. Folks, let me tell you something about San Diego. I like San Diego. It's a big city, but it has a small city vibe to it. It's not like Los Angeles. Los Angeles is a just a different beast, my friends. You've heard me talk about this before. I do like big cities to visit every once in a while, but spending a lot of time in big cities, not my vibe. If you guys are moving to California, Southern California, and you want a beach vibe with the big city, San Diego, stay away from Los Angeles. Trust me, you're gonna regret moving to Los Angeles, especially like in the heart of Los Angeles. Stay away from Hollywood. It's just dirty. It's just not really good. You'll definitely enjoy this better. Look at these battleships out here. There's the downtown looking gorgeous. Let me wrap at you guys real quickly about Lyft and Uber. I commend drivers getting out there and doing a side hustle. They actually have a really, really good commercial, Uber does, and they call it the ultimate side hustle. We all trying to make a little extra dollar here and there. And even though I used to own my own chauffeur company, and even though Uber and Lyft took away some of that business from the ones that I was doing business with out of hotels, that's all right because the entrepreneurial spirit moves forward. And if you don't adapt, you get taken over like a shark in the water, my friends. So let me tell you something. I just saw an E-Class Mercedes Benz with a Lyft sticker on the back. That is awesome. E-Class Mercedes Benz just doing it. I saw many, many different cars on the way in and I'm like, you know what, pondering on that. I was thinking about taking people around in my electric car, but they uh, require you to have a four door car. Well folks, make a long story short, I'm behind a good old, old sports authority. Looks like they're mowing the place down. Is that the sports? Yeah, that's the old sports authority. Place is getting reconstruction. Looks like they're tearing a bunch of stuff down. But what I'm interested in, I'm not interested in the sports authority. I'm, I'm interested in the good old staples. Oh yeah, they're transforming the whole sports story right there. Down here in San Diego, we just got done with uh, oil change. Actually, I'm in Escondido right now. Now, I'm trying to find the good old Staples trash cans. The only problem, there's a lot of cars back here. I think the Staples was this direction over here. So let's go see what's up. Well, if you want some monster truck tires, there's some monster truck tires for you. I can't find the Staples dumpsters though. Looks like the Staples dumpsters were like in this area with like a construction area as well. And it was all uh, padlocked up. And there was a big sign that said, smile, you're on camera. So I'm like, eh. And I'm not gonna really uh, bother with it. See, here we go, lots of construction, folks. Lots of construction. Alrighty, let's go hunt behind Ulta, Target, and I think there's a Toys R Us and a Dick Sporting Goods back here. Let's go see what's up. I saw a woman gathering cardboard. Definitely a lot of cardboard back here. Compactors, a lot of construction. You gotta be careful of that construction stuff. What's this? We got boxes right here. There's boxes boxes what kind of stuff is right there that looks like a sealed box what's in it boo all compactors folks you make me, you make Ladies and gentlemen, we're down by the beach now. I think we're I don't know where we are. We're somewhere in northern San Diego County 81 degrees that is a 22 23 degree difference than where I was getting the oil change. Oh, I think we're in Oceanside. I think this is Oceanside because Camp Pendleton's next. All righty, folks, we're gonna go back to, back to the hall from last night. Hopefully the garbage man hasn't come. We need to see in the daytime if there's any more action. And if you're wondering, again, last night there was so much stuff. Ikea table, you guys remember the footage. So we're gonna go back and I'm gonna push around some bags if it's still there. I guarantee you those maintenance guys probably had a heyday digging through some of that stuff on their own. So we're just gonna go back and see if there's anything still laying around, you know, out and about. Obviously it was a move out and it was like, it was like they're just leaving for good and the whole entire house. There was like mops and brooms and, you know, I mentioned that last night, but anyway, I'm excited. So hopefully the trash man has not come. Hopefully there's still something still there. It's about 2.19, about eh, 15 hours later or so. So let's go see what's up. 
Told you, maintenance guys are all over it. Plus the trash guy did come, but we're still, there's still a one recycle bin that doesn't look like it's been taken out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull on in, see if I can find anything. And the moral of the story is, the maintenance guys have wiped it out completely. Trash man took pretty much everything and the maintenance guys, anything left on the ground, they've already snagged it for sure, the electronics. More of the story is never wait till the next day because it's not gonna be there. If you have the opportunity to grab it, grab it for sure. To be honest with you, I actually think uh, that these complexes called junk services to come get some of the extra junk. That mattress is gone as well. And not to mention, uh, folks, I'll tell you what, there were a lot of black bags, but I'm starting to kind of wonder what was inside the black bags because there was so much good stuff outside of the black bags it's like what was in the black bags you know what i'm saying like was there more electronics because i mean they were just like hucking i'll show you guys the duracell battery pack i got it's like a costco one half the battery pack is still there plus some and then brand new duct tape again brand new clothes i'm like what's going on that's the craziness of this complex, folks. Not this complex, that's the craziness of this city. Just action. And this weekend's Labor Day weekend, you bet we're gonna have some hauls this weekend for sure. Well, good news, my protein powder came. MP Combat Protein Powder Vanilla. Sweet deal on Amazon. I think it's on sale. Oh, I forgot to check the expiration date. Let's see what's going on here. Expires. Hey, July 2020, baby. That's a good deal. That was only like $31 shipped prime. That was amazing. You know how expensive those are normally? All right, let's go see. Um, okay, this is what I was gonna show you guys here. Let's go ahead and come on over here. I put the Duracell pack right here. Look at that. Boom, that's a Costco pack for sure, guys. Look at that. Whole entire left side is completely in there. That's 20. And then I think I got another like five or six downstairs, which we're gonna go look at. They kind of fell out of the pack on this side right here. And so I picked them up off the ground, put them back. Let's go see a couple of other things. Here's the sweet brand new Puma tennis shirt right here. This was a size, I think medium, 60 buck price tag on that. Take a look at that. We're definitely gonna sell that. It had some like used tennis skirts, some dresses. I have a couple items upstairs I might show you here, but I'm definitely gonna sell that. I think it's a little too big for the misses. And that's a great tennis shirt right there for sure. Now coming down here again, okay, so I only got about four more right there. So four more brand new Duracells. And then folks, look at that. Would you look at that duct tape? That's black duct tape, brand new sealed. How about that? Now let's take a look at this bad boy right here. You guys remember this action right here folks so if you guys haven't watched yesterday's vlog i think it was yesterday's yeah that will be in the description box or it will be in the after credits it'll be able to be clickable link and you see me grab this bad boy this is a motorola hd dual turner dvr again a dvr from cox cable and what happens is when these people move out they just throw everything away they don't take it back to cox so they're probably gonna get charged for this. I haven't looked up the precise model number on eBay yet, but I guarantee you this is pretty expensive. This looks like a brand new, um, well, there's the model right there, DCH3416. This looks like one of the newest ones. There's probably a sweet hard drive in there as well. If it's not worth that much, I probably will take the hard drive out. It's probably, my guess, at least 100 gigs, probably more. Uh, so I'll probably take the hard drive out as well. I didn't even think about that because I need more hard drive space on my computer. Looks like the M card right here is, looks like it's in there. Did not come with a plug, but guess what, ladies and gentlemen, I always tell you grab plugs because you always need plugs. That's why you always grab plugs, ladies and gentlemen. This is looking real strong. I'm gonna look that up on eBay. So we grabbed that, no remote, unfortunately, but they will definitely still sell. People buy extra ones for another room, then they buy spare remotes, so don't worry about that. It will still sell, obviously not as much with the remote, but I have a plug, or I could buy a remote and then add it to the auction, but probably not. Anyway, that was sweet. Now let's go check out one more thing. So here is the Vox guitar amp right here, and again, this does not come with a cord either, and now that I'm thinking about it, that uh, part where I'm like pulling up a bunch of cables, the cords were probably right there in that whole entire thing. And even like it had a step pedal, but I thought that was for rock, uh, you know, the uh, Nintendo game or whatever, or whatever that uh, rock band, yeah, rock band thing. 
Anyway, but I got plenty of plugs for that. We'll be testing that out, but again, that was set aside, so I'm like 100% sure that's working right there. Anyway, now let's come over here real quick, guys. I wanna show you this action right here. This was from a few vlogs ago, but there were a couple really cool things in here that I do want to show you. There were some sweet little digs. We got some sweet Adidas soccer shoes right there. We got Nike soccer shoes. We got little cute little Lacoste shoes right there. How about that action? Those are absolutely fantastic. Those will definitely sell. Over here, unfortunately, didn't come with one lace. We got a couple different pairs of Nike shoes here and here. And again, these are all women, so I'm probably going to uh, obviously see if my wife's size. And then some Under Armour shoes as well. So we got all that with the Under Armour shoe. Eh, a little bit warm, but not too terribly bad here. Here's the other Nike. Unfortunately, again, we're missing one shoelace for that one there. But we have Nike, Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, Nike. And unfortunately, it only came with one of those Nikes. But then we got these uh, New Balance sandals. But of course, those aren't as cool as the Lacoste. So that's a pretty sweet haul right there. How about that? Oh, and then I forgot a ton of these envelopes here. And again, there was this whole entire box full of thermal paper. Obviously, these are people that own businesses. They run out of their home. And again, I have found multiple items in regards to this. People shut down, they move back home or they move out of state. And that's where I'm able to grab these poly bags that I found before, um, these type of things here, all sorts of stuff that is just absolutely fantastic for reselling purposes right here. And then of course, you know, like some slat wall stuff that people like had for storage stuff. Anyway, some great hauls, folks, great hauls. With that ado, folks, God bless you, God protect you. Remember to carpe diem, bite and live your dream. And remember to stay tuned for this weekend, these next couple vlogs. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna be diving every day. It's Labor Day weekend. We're gonna grab some good stuff. Later! Oh.